Hello learners, today in this video we are going to revise syllabus of first unit test chapter number 1 to 4 of 8th standard science. We are going to conduct online test using google form. So, you have to appear for the online test. In this video, pupils will revise their memory and will get prepared for first unit test. Syllabus for first unit test is lesson number 1 to 4 and test B of 20 marks. Here is the paper pattern. First question is MCQ type where we will provide you four options and you have to select correct option as an answer. Question second will be including activity based question, some higher order thinking question, question based on experiment or identify the figure or label the parts of given figure or solve numerical. For this question also we will provide you four options and you have to select correct option as an answer. Students you will note down question and answer in your classwork notebook. So let us see the outline of chapter number 1. In chapter number 1 we have learned about biodiversity that is all the living organism residing on the earth and to study 87 million species of living organism we need to classify them into groups and subgroups. Then we got familiar with Whitker's five kingdom classification system. Then we learned classification of microbes into virus, bacteria, protozoa, fungi and algae. In chapter number 2, we have learned about health and type of diseases according to duration and causes. Some infectious diseases like diarrhea, TB, cholera and typhoid etc. And some non infectious diseases like cancer, diabetes and heart diseases. Current important diseases like dengue, swine flu and AIDS etc. Then we got familiar about genetic medicines. Then we come to know that by wrong kind of lifestyle there is increased frequency of ill health and episodes of diseases. In chapter number 3, we have learned different types of forces. Then we learned about tendency of an object to remain in its existing state that is inertia. Then we got familiar with the term pressure, where we saw pressure on solid, pressure on liquid and gas pressure. We also come to know the formula of pressure is equal to force upon area where pressure is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to area and unit of force is Newton per meter square or Pascal. Then we come to know about the buoyant force which acts in the upward direction on an object when immersed in fluid. Finally, we got familiar with Archimedes principle which states that weight of an object is equal to volume of fluid displaced. Then we saw formula of density that is density is equal to mass upon volume and its unit is kilogram per meter cube and formula of relative density is density of metal upon density of water and it has no unit. In chapter number 4, we got familiar with some terms like electric current, 
electrostatic potential and potential difference. Here we come to know the formula of electric current is equal to electric charge upon time with unit ampere and electrostatic potential its unit is volt. Then we studied construction of dry cell, lead acid cell and nickel cadmium cell. Then we learn how to set up electric circuit. Then we learn very important phenomena that is magnetic effect of electric current and construction of electromagnet and its application that working of electric bell. So let us start with revision of question. Question number 1 select the option. First question the process of dividing living organism into group and subgroup is called dash classification. Out of these four options the correct option is biological. Question number 2 dash wilt is a viral disease. Options are tomato, potato both A and B are correct and the next option is none of the above. The correct of answer of this question is tomato. Question number 3 the SI unit of pressure is students we know the formula of pressure is equal to force upon area. Force we measure in Newton and area in meter square therefore unit of pressure is Newton per meter square. Question number 4 when the glass rod is rubbed on a silk cloth the glass acquires that charge. When we rub glass rod with silk cloth electron get transferred from glass rod to silk cloth as glass rod loses electrons it becomes positive therefore the answer is positive. Next question is dash virus is responsible for the infection of swine flu. The correct answer is influenza H1N1. Sixth question is dash found on decaying organic matter. Here options are algae, viruses, fungus and then one. The correct answer is fungus. Let us move towards the next question. Dash test is used for diagnosis of AIDS. I given the options are X-ray, ELISA, swab test, none of the above. The correct answer is ELISA. Here is the next question. The difference between the potential of two points is termed as dash. Options are potential difference, electric current, can't say or both A and B. The correct answer is potential difference. The question number 2 select the correct option. The first question is identify the given organism. Here in the picture I have shown you unicellular microorganism and the name of this microorganism or unicellular living organism is Paramosium. In this picture, in the one first picture, I shown that lemon sink in a glass filled with fresh water. In the picture number B, lemon floats in a glass filled with salty water. Students, we know that substance or object whose density is less that floats on water whose density is more than water that sink in water. Lemon density is more in fresh water so it sink in water. But when we add salt in water that salty water density increases because of salt which is more than lemon. So lemon floats in water. So the answer of the question Lemon floats in salty water because the density of salty water is dash than lemon. The answer is 
मोर थर्ड क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग चार्ट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू टाइप्स वन इज प्रो कैरी ओट्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज यू कैरी ओट्स हियर आयन नेल्स गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स मैग्नेट बट there is no contact between these two objects so the question is identify the types of force the answer is non contact force thank you